I'm Faye and welcome back to Figure It Out with Faye, um, where I try to figure out life and right now I'm figure, focusing on my finances. Um, so today's video is going to be my monthly uh, budget for March um, as well as um, my first giveaway. So at the end of the video, I will um, describe the rules for the giveaway. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much, everyone, for helping me uh, reach 500 subscribers. As of the filming of this video, I currently have 511. Um, so thank you so much for staying tuned to my journey. Um, and then I'll explain more at the end about what I'm planning on giving away and what you need to do to enter. Um, so this month, um, it's currently March 1st, so to this month's monthly goals are um, I want to move my husband onto my car insurance so that we um, can consolidate our car insurances and hopefully get a better deal. Um, I cleaned out my closet um, for a bunch of clothes that I don't wear. And guys, I, I have a bunch of clothes that I've never even worn. The tags are still on them. Um, so maybe I'll post my uh, eBay account if you guys are interested um, in some of those. And then I want to read one book per week, um, but right now I'm reading The Priory and the Orange Tree, which is a hefty book. So I don't think I'm going to finish it by the end of this week. So um, hopefully I can just average out for four books this month. Um, and then I am taking a trip to Boston this month for like a long weekend. Um, so hopefully I can get a few books read um, while we're doing our traveling. So let's get into, so I already did the budget, but then I took out a debt consolidation loan. So a whole bunch of numbers have changed. Um, so I wanna review those. Okay, so this is the old list um, of all of my bills and debts. So my February goal was to get off of two pages worth of bills onto one page and we did that um, but I just finished the consolidation loan and then paid off a whole bunch of other debt with my uh, federal return so we're going to go through and list out the new bills and then um, make our new budget so I have a new sheet here that I will snap in and my cheat sheet and let's get into it let's see if I can move this a little closer all right so I'm I actually paid a bunch of March's bills already um, so whatever I already paid I'm going to put aside for um April because my first paycheck in April comes on the 7th so that way I have um money stashed away for um the same bills that will be due so our first due date is the third um I didn't pay off all the Amazon or the all of the Affirm accounts I think I have four left um but I plan on knocking those out within the next two months and then we will be done with a firm. So we have Amazon a firm and that's $24.50 a month. Um, if I just paid the minimum balance, I would owe the last payment would be two, three of 24. And for March, I already paid that. The next one due on the third is eBay Affirm, which is twenty three twenty three, and the last payment would be October third of this year. I already paid that one. The third, we have Navient, which is. Five twenty-five ninety-seven. 
um, and I already paid that. Um, then I have Amazon Affirm. $25.59. And the last payment on this would be for $5.24. This is due on the 5th. And I already paid it. Um, the next one is Capital One. Quicksilver. Um, and I still owe $24.33 on it, which I did pay this off in full. Um, but due to the timing of when I paid it off, um, I was hit with an interest charge after I paid it off. So I still owed the $24.33 on it for interest. Um, and I already paid this off. So this one is debt free. There's a zero balance on that. Um, and then on the sixth, I have another Amazon Affirm. And that is 1681. And the last pay date for that is March 6th of 24. And I already paid that. And then the 16th, my MT credit is due. And that is $99. And I already paid that one. Um, on the 20th, I owe General Motors for my car payment. And that is $495.16. I have not paid that one yet, so that's going to come out of the next check. Um, the 21st. PayPal is due. That's $30.39. Um, this is another one where I paid the balance off in full, and then the next day I got hit with the interest charge um, for the balance that I owed. Um, but I did pay off that $30.39. So this card is now debt-free. Um, the 22nd, I owe Capital One Journey, and that is $114. The 23rd, I owe Chase, which is my Amazon, um, and I owe $73.76, um, which this is like a promotional um, purchase. So as long as I pay the $73.76 a month, it's interest free. Um, but I plan to pay that off sooner. Third, um, and then the 23rd is Upstart, which is my debt consolidation loan, which is $302.81 a month, which is actually only, I think, $17 more expensive than the previous loan that I had. Um, so now I just, I put all of my cards away. I have one for emergencies. Um, just in case the rest are all away so I can't spend anything on them and I took them off of all of my digital accounts so I can't like use my Apple Pay or um, PayPal or anything else. They've all been um, disconnected from all of those online accounts. Um, the 26th is Verizon which is $75. And then I put in joint account. 
Um, I have been shopping around a little bit. We might consider switching off of Verizon. Um, I used to have Google Fi and then I, I liked it, but I didn't get service like when I was visiting my friends out in the country. Um, so we moved back to Verizon, but now I just started a new job and now with Verizon, I don't get service at work. So, um, it's a hefty price to pay to not have service when I need it most of the day. <laughs> And then the 28th, I owe Geico, which my insurance did go up and they said it's mo almost everyone's insurance went up due to, um, you know, the increases in accidents across the board and inflation and all of that, which, boo, 110.51. So that is every, all of my bills now. So that is significantly less since I consolidated and hopefully now it's easier for me to focus on which debts I'm paying off so I can just pay them off faster and that way I can start saving up cash to set aside for things that I do want to purchase. That way I'm not putting it on more credit. Um, and then I'm just going to highlight these based off of checks that they already came out of. Um, so this purple um, is the check that I just got on the 24th. Um, this green is going to be the check that I get on the 10th and then this coral is going to be what I pay with the check that I get on the 24th. All right and then on to the monthly budget. So for paycheck 310 23 um, for paycheck and mileage, I am budgeting 1705. Um, the mileage always varies um, depending on where I have to go during the week. Um, but because I'm salary, the base pay is always seventeen oh five, dollars um, which that may be more with the next check because I did start picking up extra shifts. Um, but I don't want to calculate that extra in case it doesn't come through into this check. And then my next paycheck is the 24th. And mileage which I'll adjust that in actual when it comes in, but again, that's gonna be 1705. So the total would be three, four, 10. Uh, fixed expenses. Um, so we're gonna have Canva, which is 13 and that's the program that I use to make all of the um, tracking sheets. General Motors. Um, and I did round up all of these expenses to the nearest dollar. 496. Verizon is 75. Go 111. Diet Mentor is 400. Gas is 110. And grocery is 200. 
which gives us a total of 14.05. Um, and then anything that's left over from like gas grocery, the diet mentor, um, etc. I'm going to pull and use for um, savings challenges um, to put into like my emergency fund um, and other sinking funds. Variable expenses. Um, I do need a new phone coming up soon so I want to start saving for that so I'm not taking out another payment plan. So I'm going to put $20 away for that. Um, I do need a new tablet. Um, I currently have the Google Pixel Slate, which they don't make anymore. Um, the keyboard I had for it already broke and they do not make more keyboards for it because they discontinued everything for this tablet. Um, but I turned it on the other day and got like the blue screen of death. So it was just like glitching. I It is working now, but it's, it's already on its last leg. So I want to start saving up for another one. So I'm going to put $100 away for that. P.O. box. I'm going to put $50 aside for that because I want to pay for an entire year up front. And they're like 300 and change dollars for the year. And that's just for a small box. Um, but I think it'd be a good idea to have one. Um, household. I'm going to put 25 in. Outings. I'm going to do... 40 for right now just because it's probably going to get merged into the vacation fund um, buffer isn't getting anything spending is getting 40 just in case and then I'm trying to start replacing the money that I took out of my clothing allowance so I'm going to do another 20 there, which gives us $2.95 um, for savings. My rainy day fund. I want to have $500 in this fun fund, and it's just cash that I keep around just in case I need the cash. That's going to get $20. Um, my mini emergency fund I want to have a thousand dollars just set into my high yield savings again just in case that's going to get 20. Um, my car so when I buy out my lease I want to start putting money aside um, to put a down payment down on that so I'm gonna do 20. Um, Christmas, I'm going to start putting money away, so I'm going to do 25 and vacation is getting 300, so that is 540. Okay, so debt. Firm was getting a total of 92 and that's just with the minimum payments but then after I made those payments one of them only has a balance of $162 left so I'm going to add that $162 and just pay that one off with the next check. Capital One Quicksilver got 25 One Journey got 114. MT Credit got 99. Upstart is going to get 303. Chase is getting 74. PayPal got 31. And Navient, of course, gets the most at 526 bringing this total to 1426 
Um, and then, okay, so the totals, my income was 3410. Fixed total, 1405. Variable total, 295. Debt total was 1426. Savings total was 540. Total leaves me at 44 left. So that $44 left over goes to savings challenges. so that I can play things like Shut the Box or some of the other ones that I had purchased because I think they're fun and they keep my financial journey exciting and I need that otherwise I get bored with it and I stop tracking. Um, so that is my budget for this month. Um, and then for the giveaway, um, I think I want to give away um, three separate um, gifts. Um, I want to do like a binder um, with like six custom envelopes. Um, and... I'll also do like a mini and then I'll probably do two mini challenge um, binder sets. Um, so it's going to be like a little, um, the mini envelopes, um, like on the key rings um, that you can cash stuff. Um, so if you are interested, um, all you have to do is be subscribed. Um, to figure it out with Faye, um, like this video and in the comments, um, let me know what one of your financial goals for, um, this year is going to be. Um, and then I will close the giveaway on St. Patrick's Day and I will announce the winners in the Sunday video. So the video that I plan on, um, posting on the 19th, the... Um, the winners will be announced and then you just have to send me an email um, that's listed, listed in my YouTube channel um, and then we can um, figure out patterns and such for um, the envelopes um, that you would like. Um, so thank you so much for um, the 500 subscribers and I hope to see you all in the next video and uh, can't wait to uh, do this giveaway. Bye.